What's up, guys? It's Classic 1333 coming to you live outside. They're going for the fancy move. Oh, no. So, um, the first match they had, they had Tyson Kidd one on one with Evan Bourne. It's down to these guys. One, two, I'm Mickey James uh, pinned Maurice again. Evan Board hit a shooting star press and got a three count. Just make sure Cena is like actually injured or something. So they put him in this exhibition match. What the hell's an exhibition match? I don't know. Hey, who won the wrestling match? Where'd the music go? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's Classic1333 here coming to you live from the bedroom again. Gonna go, gonna do the uh, Raw review from tonight's Raw, which I don't know where it originated from because I didn't pay attention or they didn't say it. But no, and then they probably said it. So we uh, start the show off with a 13-minute um, promo with Randy Orton coming out to the ring. And uh, basically he uh, said that like last night he wanted to take out Batista for good, you know, after he got DQ'd. And uh, him, him and Legacy were going to do that. And then Ric Flair came out and made the save. So then basically he uh, bitches about Ric Flair getting involved. And he talked about how, um, you know, how he, he uh, kicked Ric Flair in the skull, his favorite word. Kicked him in the skull in uh, summer of 2007. And he was basically like, you know, so, he's like, maybe you could have beat Shawn Michaels since I did that, blah, blah, blah. So that was pretty funny. And then... Um, like, Fleur comes out, you know, gets a good pop from the crowd, and uh, basically says, you know, you know, the whole, to be the man, you got to beat the man thing, basically says that he doesn't beat Batista, and, uh, you know, basically he's like, you can't beat Batista, then Orton says that, that he can, he's like, Fleur's like, oh, that's good, because I talked to Vicky, and at Extreme Rules, you're going to face Orton in a steel cage match. So then Orton's, like, you know, upset about that, and then he's like, Flair, I'm going to have you send a message for me. So then he cheap shots Flair with a punch to the face. And then, you know, the rest of Legacy is going to come out. They're going to gang up with Flair. And then Batista comes out. Legacy gets the upper hand. And then Cena comes out, makes the save. So sets up our main event later tonight. But we'll get to that later. So I'm trying to do the promos a little bit faster than I used to. So a little bit less detail. Or if I give the detail, you know, faster. So next we got... Backstage interview with Josh Matthews interviewing Cena why he got involved. Cena basically saying, you know, people were like, you know, disbelieving, you know, that he could do it. You know, he can still beat people or something, I guess. And he talked about how Big Show had him backed into a corner or something. And, you know, he, he you know, proved them all wrong or something. He defied physics, defied gravity, defied the Frank Sterling law, which uh, I'll post a little info on the sidebar about that, what the Frank Sterling law is. He actually didn't say that, but... I'm just going to post it just because it's a good old education. There is education on my crazy show. So, um, basically, then Vicky interrupts him and says that, uh, like, she made a handicap match tonight. It's going to be Legacy versus Cena and Batista. And Cena's, like, you know, pulling out some, uh, like, what is it, you know, like, uh, what's the what's that phrase that Bill Murray says on Ghostbusters? Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria, that phrase, so... Pulls out something like that, you know, he doesn't give a crap, you know, he's excited about it. So, that's our main event tonight. So then next we get, our first match of the night, we get a Divas Battle Royal with uh, Jillian, the Bella Twins, which I guess have made up, they're not feuding anymore. Um, Jillian, Bella Twins, uh, Mickey James, Beth Phoenix and Rosa, and Kelly Kelly. And the winner is going to get a future Divas Championship match or something, which I kind of question this because Mickey beat the champ twice, you know, one-on-one -on -one in a tag match. She, tech she should technically be number one contender, but whatever. Maurice was doing commentary during the match. This match was okay. Could have gone a little bit longer, but it was all right for what it was. Um, Kelly Kelly won the Battle Royals. Um, like, Beth Phoenix got eliminated, and, like, Kelly Kelly was, like... Um, Kind of getting tugged by her, like Beth Phoenix, you know, wanted to pull her out of the ring or something. So while that was going on, Maurice sprayed some hairspray or something in um, Mickey James' eyes or something. So Mickey's, you know, blinded and freaking out and stuff. And then Kelly just kind of, like, 
you know, kicks her out of the way and thus, uh, you know, going to get a future Divas Championship match. So, probably won't win, but something to do down the road, I guess. <laughs> so, let's see what's next on the show. Oh, God. Okay, so we got Santino Morello versus Chavo Guerrero. And I think the theme for tonight's Raw, like, you know, to sum up Raw briefly, though, like, half of it was pretty good, and the other half of it was just comedy, stupid, and goofy shit. Like, you could watch, you know, ten minutes of me drinking this Mountain Dew. And probably be more entertained by it. So, but yeah, um, this match was not very good, I didn't think. Mostly it was just, you know, the comedy stuff. Um, Santino won. So, once again, Chavo has still not won a match. I think he's lost more matches now, but I don't re recall. So, but, uh, so, Santino wins the match, I think, with a jackknife pin or something. Surprisingly, not a roll-up for once. And, uh, Chavo gets on the mic and says something about how, like, tonight Santino's gonna fight Vicky Guerrero for the WrestleMania crown or something. And, <laughs> And this is stupid for two reasons. Number one, since when could Chavo make matches? You know, you know, Stephanie made Vicky the GM, not Chavo. So, you know, when can he make matches? You know. And then the second thing, since when did the WrestleMania crown become like a title? You know. So, uh, it's stupid. So then we get a bunch of backstage stuff. Um, the Miz is trying to hit on Maurice. And uh, Maurice is like, you know, oh, God, whatever, you know, grossed out by it. And then um, Miz is like, oh, I'm 4-0 against Cena, you know. He's like, and I'm going to call him out again tonight, blah, blah, blah. So that was kind of cool. And then um, the next thing we had was uh, Josh, Josh Matthews was interviewing um, Matt Hardy about, like, the U.S. title match he has against MVP tonight. And was kind of asking him about how, um, you know, Kind of like, how was he being, like, rewarded for, like, interfering in the Edge versus Jeff Hardy match last night? And Hardy basically says, you know, the only reason he interfered was, like, because, um, you know, obviously because of, like, the pain that's shooting through his second met metacarpal that's broken in three places. It's funny how he says that, like, every week. So, uh, basically he was saying that, and, like, he's earned, he's earned his match tonight against MVP, so... And that Vicky's a fair GM and erased the match, his loss against Kofi last week in the tag match or something. So, whatever. So, that's what he says. And then what was the last thing we had? Um, basically, the last backstage thing we had uh, of the three was, like, Vicky's, you know, questioning Chavo, why'd you make the match or something? And then, um, again, it goes back to it, you know, like, Chavo making matches again. So, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just reading my notes, and I wrote, I even wrote a WTF next to that, so I thought that was funny. Okay, so then, um, oh yeah, and Orton interrupted too, bitching about his uh, championship match against Batista, the cage match or whatever, and v Vicky says, you know, they need a winner, and then Orton's like, you better be on my good side. Which again goes back to, in the real world, if you threaten your boss, your boss will listen to you and not fire you. Yeah. Okay. So, the next match we get, we got the Colognes versus uh, the Brian Kendrick. And who did he choose for his tag team partner to win the tag team champions with? Goldust. What the fuck? <laughs> Goldust. So, this match was okay, I guess. Like, the, for the action they did have or something, it was good. It was short. Um, basically, the whole match was, like, the Colognes beating up Kendrick. And then, whenever Kendrick got off and said he was looking at Goldust and bitching at him while he wasn't doing anything. And, uh... Goldust really wasn't doing anything. He just stood, like, on the ring apron the whole time. You know, he didn't cheap shot uh, Primo when he had the chance. And then when Kendrick was, like, getting pinned, he didn't even, like, get in the ring. So I agree with Kendrick on that one. So, but then Hornswoggle shows up and, you know, kicks Kendrick in the leg at some point And, you know, blah, blah, blah. More comedy stuff tonight. But you notice I'm not laughing. Wasn't funny! <laughs> So then, um, I wrote a little uh, ECW commercial making fun of thing. Basically, I just made up a sentence that was a fragment. A sentence fragment. So, don't make up sentence fragments. 